here to understand the concept of the dipole moment a little bit better before we start calculating it for a few of the molecules and also to understand how we can measure the dipole moment uh, on, in molecules and typically that's done in a gaseous state it's by taking a look at what a single dipole moment will do when we put it under the effect of an electric field and what an electric field is is the it's the presence of positive charges on one side and negative charges on the other side whenever you place uh, a charge within that location it will feel the effect of the electric field negative charges will be driven in the opposite direction of the electric field in this case the electric field always goes from a positive to a negative end just like the dipole is always from the positive charge to negative charge and so the negative charge will feel an attraction towards the positive end of the capacitor plate and the positive charge will end up feeling a force in direction of to the negative end of the capacitor plate in such a way that this molecule will straighten itself out depend upon the strength of the dipole and that depends upon the strength of the charge the amount of the charges and the distance between them so let's say that the, the, the distance between the two charges let's call that the length uh, the bond length between the two charges and so now what we'll see is we'll see a rotation of this molecule the rotation will be such a way that the positive charge will rotate this way, the negative charge will rotate this way because of the presence of the electric field. And so what we're doing when we put an electric charge on a dipole, we measure the effect of that and that's how we find the dipole moment. So if we want to find the torque placed, the torque which will be the effect of the forces on this dipole, if we're trying to measure the, the torque, it is equal to the product of the force times the perpendicular distance from the point of rotation to where that charge is and so in this case the perpendicular distance to a charge to the point about which it will rotate which is the halfway point between the two charges this distance would be the perpendicular distance right there and so what we take what we do to find it is we take half the length right here and of course we want to find this angle theta right there this would be the angle that the distance between the two charges makes with the vertical like that so let's just call that theta it doesn't matter which angle we pick that's a good angle right there so that would be the uh, 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 matter of fact let's let's take a different angle typically I think they like to take this angle right here which is the one re reference to the electric field so let's take that angle instead uh, that would be this angle right here theta so what that means is that the perpendicular distance here is equal to half the length times the sine of the angle because that this distance then is opposite to the angle so this becomes equal to the force the force would be equal to the charge Q times the strength of the electric fields so that would be the force on the charge times the distance which would be L times the sine of the angle theta so that would be the um, that would be the the torque cost on one of the two charges and of course we have to divide the length by two because we're only taking half the length there so that would be the torque on uh, one of the charges the torque on the other charge would be the same amount because it's the same charge same distance opposite direction but of course opposite direction only in direction horizontally it would be in the same direction rotational so it would simply be doubling of the torque so therefore the total torque would simply equal to twice the torque on one of the charges which is equal to twice times Q E L divided by 2 times the sine of theta and of course the twos cancel out so finally we see the effect on a dipole when you put electric field on it is the torque is the rotational forcing of that molecule the total torque is equal to um, would be the charge on oh I'm making a wrong symbol there there we go it's the Q I'm looking for electric field times the length times the sine of the angle theta so this is then the torque that we then try to measure uh, on the dipole to see how much of a dipole moment there is on the molecule okay so therefore just to give you kind of an insight in when we measure the dipole moment of a molecule we stick it into electric field we measure the effect of the electric field and from that we go back and figure out what the dipole is uh, or the dipole moment is on the molecule